everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today I'd like to carry on a little bit more with Tech Reborn because we've come to some interesting bits and pieces and most of it is as you can see prepared on on those tables. You'll also notice I've got a funny hat. Uh, <laughs> the hat is actually, um, let's have a look at it, is this one here. A superstitious hat applies extra levels of looting when to killing entities, effect enabled by sneaking it artifacts in fact i got this from a uh, mimic and died in the process but uh, that's not unusual for me <laughs> so let's get started so in this here i've got two sets of things i've basically got some carbon cells if you don't know already the recipe for carbon cells are fluid uh, no no that's not the right one is it carbon cells let's just show me a carbon cell oh yes okay um, in fact, it's industrial electrolyzer is the one I've been using. So one piece of coal dust with two empty cells gives you two carbon cells. That's probably about as easy as well. Charcoal dust will also work, which is also good because that's uh, something you can repeat, as it were. Sustainable, as I would say. Well, when you've got so much coal in this world, it's no big deal at all. Um, what else? You can actually make carbon cells and methane cells from sap. And that would give you... I give you eight sap. Actually, that's not bad. That would give you, in fact, 28 pieces of rubber in the electrolyzer. So, anyway, this one here is bauxite. And bauxite plus two cells, I, I think it's four per thing. And in the industrial electrolyzer, which is this one, will give you aluminium. So that's one of the, the key things. Let's just show it into that like that and it should start to process. We can leave it going on. In fact, if you have a look at the use of bauxite here, you'll see that in the industrial electrolyzer we'll get, for 12 of those and 8 of those, we get 8 pieces of aluminium, some small piles of titanium dust and hydrogen cells and compressed air cells. Hydrogen cells are basically a fuel. So well, anyway, let's carry on with this now. So that's what I wanted to show, the basics to get started with. Here I would like to do some upgrades because one of my chests is definitely getting too full and these are also quests. So this is a wood to iron upgrade, we'll take that one. And the next one along here is a, uh, it's actually a, a wood to gold upgrade, we're using an iron upgrade here. You can actually have a gold, but these are all quests, so we'll do those three. And this one here is a wood to diamond. And this one here is, oh yes, this plate panel. We need that in a minute, we'll come to that in a second. So I would actually like to apply these upgrades at least. Um, I think we'll do it like this. We'll apply this iron, oh, I have to shift it, don't we? Shift it on there and that'll then upgrade that automatically in place to give you an iron um, chest. And this one here will, is also full. This is one with gems in it. <clears throat> and we'll use the gold one on this. But, Yes, we'll use a gold one in this and shift and click that one. And then you can see in here, I've got quite a few gems, a reasonable good number of diamonds and emeralds from actually from mining. And I think when I take this diamond door here and you can put it down and look at the uses of this, you can see you can smelt it. Okay, not very good. You can blast furnace it, not very good. You can loop it so you can get one or more with fortune. You can put it into the pulverizer, which we haven't built yet, or we can put it into the industrial grinder, or the industrial grinder, which will give us, with some mercury, will actually give us two plus some small piles of diamond dust, compared to with water. So we'll, we'll do that maybe one time. In fact, I actually am better off using my en enchanted pickaxe for this, to be dead honest with you. So let's look, we've got five. So the enchanted fortune, three pickaxe. And I think this hat was also making a difference. We've got 12, <clears throat> so that's actually better than two, so that's, maybe that's about the same, so we'll put it up there. So next thing, you'll notice I've got a chest here of stuff, because I've been doing a bit of uh, mining as it happens, let's put that down there like that. And I can take these out now, because they now have space in this chest to be put up into here, as you can see. And also in here, I've got quite a lot of bits and pieces, we'll shove those into here. They keep coming in from the um, recycler and scrap boxes. Uh, some of them are really useful, like uh, this tungsten, for instance. Tungsten's a hard one, and we need tungsten. And the use of this, which we'll come to in a second, is we can put this into a blast furnace and make some tungsten ingots, 
or the industrial electrolyzer will give us a Wolfram cell. Well, we're not ready for that yet. It's obviously nuclear stuff. Um, so, so that's that. The next thing I'd like to do is to upgrade this tool. Where is it now? The basic drill. So the rest, the uses of the basic drill is we need a lithium battery, two titanium ingots. Well, I've made those because I've put those into the industrial blast furnace. Three dams, no big deal. And this one. This is the hard one because we have to make an assembly machine for this with two aluminium plates and two empty cells will make this. So we need to make an assembly machine. So for that, we need four electrum ingots. That's not, actually not a big deal. It's just gold and silver. Uh, two times will give you four ingots which you can then compress advanced circuits we've been through before advanced machine in case we've done already and a display digital display now this was the hard one because i needed aluminium plates but i've got everything prepared because we've done that already so let's simply do this one that's the recipe for that this if i put this into here will give me the assembly machine and here we've got prepared this so i need this so we needed two aluminium plates. Let's go and have a look. I don't think I've got aluminium plates already made, but I should have some aluminium around. Aluminium plates, we need two of those. See, I've already prepared some stuff. And some empty cells, wasn't it? So they'll, they'll be down here. I've got some empty cells. Um, empty cells, hydrogen cells. Take two of those. In fact, those were also empty cells. Well, yes, they do sort. But the excel sorts at the back end, not as logical as I'd like. So now let's go and put down this assembly machine. We can actually put it in here for the sake of it. For now, I think there's probably a good place as any. Let's just push it. I'm I'm hesitant because I don't want people. I don't want mobs to be able to jump into. Uh, so they can actually jump into that. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to leave it here for the time being. We're not going to use it too much. So we need it two pieces of aluminium plates didn't we so that's the compressor which we'll put into here and that will produce some plates and while it's night time i'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second so we've got our two plates and let's put those into the assembly machine so we need that plus those and that should work it is indeed also i built a windmill and i just shoved it up the top here now windmills are good because they'll run at night time as well as daytime uh, and it's also a medium thing. Now the windmill is actually fairly easy. Let's have a look for the recipe for the windmill just in case we haven't, if you didn't see it last time. It's this thing here. So it's basically two of these manilium plates plus a generator. Well, we've made generators before. And these ones are made with three of this magnesium dust plus aluminium ingots. Six will give us three. So I can actually make some more of those. So these ones, the recipe for this, comes from the industrial centrifuge where we're taking marble dust and it'll give us one that's we'd need 24 marble dust probably haven't got reached that bit yet we can also get them from the scrap box and the industrial electrolyzer so we've got peridot dust um or here but in fact actually i've got a few from the scrap boxes let's have a look I've got one left. I've got enough for two, actually, as it happens, because four of those will make one of those. And then I think I haven't got enough yet, so I have to wait for some of that. We'll do that another time, because I got, I had enough for that last time. So now this should be finished. We've got a lithium cell. Great. So we have everything we need. So let's get this thing put together. So that goes up there, and the basic drill goes in here and we should have an advanced drill which is now level three which is great and we can enchant this while i'm here also i'm going to do this this is to make an advanced machine frame we need two of those we've done that before so i'm not covering it too much <laughs> put some dirt in there so a place for that and then we can make two sets of advanced machine casings we need those and we also need some standard machine casings. We'll go and fit, do that straight away because that is one of the things I really want to get finished. And that's this one here, so the hologram block. And as you can see, break that block over there. We've got, we need eight of these frames here like that. And then we need a bucket of water in the middle, as you can see. And then we need to fill this up with those. I had some of these machine, standard machine casings from before, uh, from, from the blast furnace. So we could simply just put those together like this. 
and then we should have a completed incomplete multiplot. What's wrong with this? <laughs> have I missed something here? I don't think I did. Let's just oh. I wonder if there's something underneath this. Let's just dig down here. Ah, yes. <laughs> Typical. Huh? So we probably need another nine of these frames. Yes, look. That was hidden. Didn't see that. It was a good guess, though. Let's just go down here and break away these. Ah, yes, of course, I've got no water problem. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll be back with some more machine casings. They're not too difficult. Um, let's have a look at the recipe for these. So we need another nine. So I've got two there, so I need two sets. So we can use these iron plate recipes. So I need 12 iron plates plus two circuits plus two basic machine frames. I might have enough as it happens. Let's just have a look. Yes, I've got enough iron plates. So I need those. I've got enough refined iron, we need 16 of those to make that, and circuits was the other thing, wasn't it? So we should, oops, we should be able to build those up. So, when I'm missing these ones, we need two sets of those. Good, we've got two sets. So now we should be able to simply craft this all together. Hopefully we'll do it this way, and we get our eight plastic well, that's a bit tricky isn't it <laughs> I'm just going to find it again when you don't know it's tricky let's go down here and let's put the first of all put this one in the middle in the middle so that should stop the water flowing down good so then we can put the others in here like this I need to break that block there and that block there I don't I would be very surprised if we have to go down another level. Um is it complete now? I think I'm missing one down here or something like that. Yes, look. Right, there we have it. Fantastic. I need to get out of here now, so I've got one block left. I bet there are more multi blocks in this pack as well. Oops, don't need to do that, do I? And I can put this one away here like that. So now we can see we have this, so we can actually start to do stuff with industrial grinder. So let's have a look at that one. And this is actually the one of the main machines. It will be a tier, medium tier machine. And my power is not really adequate for me, medium. We have 11 pages of stuff, which we can have a look at. So. Ancient debris will make three netherite scraps. Ooh, that's good. With mercury. Now, mercury we've got already some, as it happens, but it was one with a reward. Um, let's have a look at what mercury is. It's probably made in the chemical reactor. So, mercury cells, this one, and I think it's been a memory cell. So, it's industrial centrifuge. We can, with empty cells and 32 redstone we can make. 10 mercury that's probably quite reasonable fluid replicator and industrial electrolyzer so that's cinnabar dust plus empty cells will give one sulfur dust and one mercury cell actually that's also a good one as it happens oh, sorry let's go back to the usage of this one let's see what else we can do because it's there's a lot as you can see um certis cortisol you get two plus three dust fantastic and it depends on what you put in. So, for example, coal ore will give you four. With water, it gives you three. Um, bauxite, oh, that's copper. That gives you one gold and three copper. That's a tripling of this with mercury. There'll be one of those with water as well. In fact, this one's sodium persulfate. And that gives you two copper, one gold and one nickel. And that's good because we want nickel at some stage or other. In fact, we need it as soon as we can. Um... So that's it. I probably won't look at all of the recipes just yet. We'll go through some of them later on, I think. But for now, it's built. And the one I want to do is gallium ore. So we need some water. Let's just get some, because we've got plenty of gallium ore. And it, 
it keeps coming through um, and I don't have any uses for it at the moment so let's just have a look at some gallic more won't take too much because bauxite's probably another one that we can put in here we've got 53 in there let's just put in about four so it needed four buckets of water I noticed I have to figure out a way of getting water or some other fluids into this um, we do have tanks not again I don't believe it <laughs> I've just got rid of some right so let's try that let's just can we right click that onto that no we have to shift click it in there so we got one bucket's worth um i don't want dirt in there i want to put in this gallium oil which will make this so that's running through let's go and get some more water while that's doing that it's bound to be one bucket per thing so so we've got now gallium dust plus sulfur dust was actually a very good one to have i'll let's have I've got another bucket with me actually. Let's just get another bucket out of my out of my backpack. Rather than mess around too much and just get that one filled up as well. And then we'll do then it will be able to do all four of these. So so this one here, the uses of sulfur dust, we can make gunpowder, small dust, and just we don't care about that one just yet. And solid canning machine. So we can take this one to and we'll produce a sulfur cell. <laughs> uh, see, these rabbit holes are amazing aren't they um, so a rabbit cell we can then make in a chemical reactor we can make sodium sulfide cells and sulfide, sulfuric acid cells and the use of that is we end up with sulfidium perfus perfusate per and compressed air cells with one sodium sulfide cell so it's as you can see, <laughs> there's a lot of work to do before we actually get to that. What's wrong with this? Oh yes, it's doing its stuff. And then the uses of this one here, gallium dust, we can put into the blast furnace and that will make one silver dust and one lead, which is great. And the industrial electrolyzer we can put, this will make small piles of silver, some, three lead and this. Now this is actually not too bad. It's about the same as think probably not actually let's just take it out of here like this and let's put one of these into the blast furnace like that actually what i should have been doing is i should have been charging up this if i can charge it up i can good that what we can also do with this we can enchant it uh, so let's do that as well it's actually come back to night time again so let's have a look at what enchants we can get for this one so with 30 we can get efficiency i think looks like we can only get efficiency but maybe we can also get a silk touch on this let's have a look it's night time i'm going to come back in a second um when it's daytime again right the first thing i'm going to do is to get this <clears throat> and i'm going to put it on top of here in fact yeah, i think i can do that let's just see if i can oops i can yeah so that's going to fill up and that's going to start giving me levels of xp <clears throat> and one tank is not quite enough for 30 levels i think so let's just so while that's doing that i can come over here anyway and take some more buckets of liquid xp and put those into here like that and then just wait until we get 30 levels there is a um as you everybody knows that by this time there's a diminishing returns with xp anyway but i've got the magnet and so everything's getting pulled towards me including xp of course 24 takes a few seconds not too long hopefully and i also have a, a book i said i've got a book didn't i so let's have a look in the enchanting area here i think i've got a oh, i've got a mending book i should use that one i've got knockback to a Thorns, a lunging three, and breaking three, silk touch. I reckon that silk touch is going to be a good thing to put on this. So I've got 31 levels, so that might well be enough to do what we want to do. It doesn't use all the levels up when we do this anyway. So let's put this in here and enchant it to level 30, whatever that's going to give me. So we've got fortune three and efficiency four. Fantastic. That means I don't need to apply the uh, <laughs> the silk touch because we've got fortune on it. I'll charge this up again. Then we're going to have a quick look down at the um, 
in the base. So, so what else have we got going on in here? Nothing that's done, isn't it? And I've got these. Oh, incomplete multi-block. Why is that? That can't be right. It might be because I've got these two too close together. I was worried about that. I'm going to have to move things around, but I'll do that in my own time. Um, just move them one block away from each other, that's probably what I'm going to do. And I'm going to build some more windmills um, for next time anyway, because that's going to give us a little bit more power. And it is medium tier power. And the, the cables don't match, you can't have gold and copper cables on the same circuits. Nothing works, it doesn't turn out up, so I had to replace all of the cables with gold. I didn't need to. I could have quite happily stayed without that. Right. How are we doing for charging up here? I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a minute when it's charged up. So now we have a fully charged advanced drill. I should really make some of the other machines as well from that one. Um, the advanced drill is actually handy. And by the way, this I moved this. This has got really works very well now. <laughs> Good way to get um, resin sap in an easy it was expensive to make but it was that it's probably worthwhile doing so i'm going to go down here to where i've been mining and actually to where i died i did put we're a little bit far from base about 135 blocks so i did build another big torch and it takes a few seconds to get down here but as you can see on the mini map my little death icon is appearing quite near now <laughs> Right, as you can see, I'm down here in the mines. I have set up a turtle mining base bit here. We'll cover, we'll cover this and when I go to the nether, I think. But for the time being, we'll have a look at the, um, at the advanced drill. So let's break that and see what we get. So we get eight certis, is that eight or three? I'm not sure. Uh, three, three certis quart from one hit, which is pretty decent. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we're going to carry on with Tech Reborn, we need to do something about power. I would also like to build the rest of these uh, tools and I would also like to improve my armour. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.